Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we are in a completely different location. And we're also doing something completely different because you guys have requested for like a year or something crazy for me to do a get ready with me or like a makeup tutorial or something so I figured as we're talking about something ridiculous <laughs> that I'm dealing with right now I would do a get ready with me and then we can just make it more casual and chit chat about life and problems in life while I get ready and then that way you can see what I do to my face as well but I would like to make a disclaimer I've debated what to name this video because I don't really like these kind of titles. I feel like they're very clickbait and very attention seeking to be honest. But I, I kind of, now that I'm going through it myself, I kind of realise why people do it. And I feel like if I'm going to get anything out of this situation, let it be some YouTube views, okay? From this kind of title. Let it just be that, that's fine. I can take that and I can live with that. So even though it kind of looks a bit stupid, this YouTube title, I figured, you know, people might wanna click on it and talk about this type of drama that so many of us go through. So that is just why I named it this, because why not? I deserve it, why not? And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say on that. So we're gonna get into this video and I'm gonna start doing my makeup because I do ramble, so let me not ramble in this video. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a bit of um, primer on while I, before I do my eyes and stuff, so then it's kind of sinking into my skin, and then we can move on to the eyes before we do the face. I don't really know if you want me to actually tell you what I'm doing or if you'd rather it just be a like chit chat thing. I'm not really sure, <laughs> so. Maybe we'll just do a bit of both. So what's funny is this video was actually requested on my Instagram maybe like two weeks ago or something. Somebody asked me to talk about how to get over your ex. And at the time I was in a relationship so I didn't like, I was gonna film it but I didn't think that I would be going through it at the same time that I end up filming it, which is just universe working its magic, you know. So it's kind of um, a lot easier for me to film it now because I'm actually in it and I can give way more in-depth advice. I do already have a video on heartbreak and how to heal from heartbreak, but I feel like now that I'm in it, I could go in so much more depth than what I went before, which is, Sad, but good. <laughs> it's hard to talk while I do eyebrows, so I'm just gonna quickly do this. Also, if you hear noise outside, please excuse it. There's stuff going on out there. I always come back to the eyebrows again at the end. So if you saw on my Instagram, I posted just saying that like I wouldn't be um, posting as often at the minute and stuff. I've kind of taken the week to just feel all the feels with everything that's been going on in my crazy life and I'm not going to go into full details of what's happened but I want to talk about the grieving process because the question that one of you lovely people asked me was how to get over an ex so I want to focus it more on the grieving process and how to move through that because it's something that I'm literally learning every single day. I don't think I've, I mean I've been through stuff that's probably worse than this so I don't know. It's like when you go through something you feel like at the time it's extremely painful but then when you look back on it you kind of almost forget how painful it was like once you've started healing from it you don't really feel it as deeply so it's like now that I'm going through something again this new thing feels like unbearable but the old things don't the old things kind of feel like they were nothing even though at the time they were horrific and probably worse than what I'm dealing with right now which is kind of weird <laughs> when I think about it but it just goes to show that like um perspective changes everything so in my video talking about heartbreak which I will link up here for you somewhere I talked about um self-care and like focusing on yourself but I never realized until I'm in this kind of dynamic where 
things are flipped upside down without your choice like in a lot of relationships I've ended them so for this although I did end this one but it was kind of not because I wanted to it was because once you cross that line with me like mm -mm, you are done bye bye no no explanation needed no excuse needed like it's just done you know you can't break trust like that and then expect to fix it there's nothing to fix you fucked it <laughs> you feel me so um <laughs> I never realized like the uh depth of the self-care that needs to take place because it's been a minute since I have experienced full-blown heartbreak so I kind of forgot what that entails and the types of emotions that come up if that makes sense so it's one thing to say or like you need to feel your emotions but it's a whole other ball game when the emotion is coming up in you and you feel it and you don't know what to fucking do with yourself you know like it's just completely different when you're actually in it and feeling it and I feel like that's why people don't really take advice very often like people you can give advice and stuff but until you're in the actual shoes of the other person it's kind of difficult to say exactly what they should do unless you like fully understand and remember what it was like for yourself it's kind of difficult I'm just doing a nude look because you guys voted on my Instagram on a poll and the winner was browns and golds instead of a bright colour but I may do a bright colour another time because it was pretty close on the poll hmm what do I want to do I'm going to be filming all six of my videos today so I need to do a, a nice look actually we're in a nude top so we could do what do I want and I haven't cleaned my makeup brushes my bad but one of the um, emotions that I never expected to come up is like anger, <laughs> you know, because when you're going through this type of process, you, I really find myself kind of going towards all of the everything, like you start analysing everything and I never thought about how much you seek to understand, like you seek to understand what's happened, why it's happened why they did it, why you did it, like your mind instantly goes there to try and explain it so that you can process it because especially when it's something sudden or unexpected it just doesn't make any sense you know like to me it really didn't make sense and it took me a minute to actually accept that it happened and that this person did those things when I never ever expected them to do that or want to do that you know <laughs> so it just takes a minute to kind of grasp it and come to terms with the fact that it happened and in that process is just so many emotions and I feel like this is the same no matter what happens like no matter how a breakup happens you have to come to terms with the truth and not like little fantasies or what you wished would happen and what you hoped would happen but to actually become completely just accepting that this is what's really happened, even though you didn't want that to fucking happen. <laughs> and I do think when it's taken out of your hands, like when it's taken out of your control, it's, ugh, it's like, the one thing we humans want is to be in control of our lives. Like we want to know the outcome, we want to control the outcome, we want to know what other people think of us and what they're doing and what they want. Like we always want the answers. So when something real unexpected happens, it just shatters your ability to control the answer. And it's so terrifying and like you're drowning kind of thing. Like you're literally just thrown into the sea <laughs> without any preparation or any idea that it was gonna happen if that makes sense and that's how it's felt for me this week which has not been fun whatsoever I also mentioned in one of my vlogs that I bought a course that is about um the course originally was about ancient mythology like Egyptian mythology and how it relates to the self and it, it like breaks down the creation story and everything but it came with um free other like workshops that she has her name's Osette and I'll link her YouTube down below actually because she's just incredible but her other courses that came free with that one was 
shadow work, chakra healing and womb healing and with everything like especially when you're going through a breakup those are like essential things that you need to start doing you know is your shadow work, is your chakra work, I mean you need to be doing these anyway but especially when you go for a breakup womb healing as well is just so so powerful because as I've said in a million videos like your emotions store in your body and they get trapped and if we're not processing them and we're suppressing them and trying to shun them and ignore them then it's just going to come out in really negative ways in our lives so I was doing that and when I wrote down um, I went through like the chakra list of all of the emotions that you feel and the different frequencies that they're at and when I was writing down all of the um, things that I felt like the things that created the emotion like the root cause of those emotions the list <laughs> for each emotion was just mad like anger had so many things listed under it mainly because of what I'm dealing with now but like sometimes you don't even realize that you're that there's a lot of reasons why you feel certain things because we're going about our day-to-day -day lives we're not really paying attention to everything and every reason as to why we're feeling something so it's only when you sit down and you literally allow yourself to just think of everything just on that one emotion at a time and you just focus on that one emotion and write down every single reason why you feel it and be honest with yourself it's actually crazy <laughs> the amount of things that you can come up with and not just things in your present but things that happened in your past things that happened in your childhood there can be many many reasons why anger gets triggered or whatever emotion gets triggered so I think that's a really powerful tool especially if you're going through a breakup or you're going through any kind of trauma you should write down the emotions from the list of the chakras like because they're the main emotions that we feel but you could write any emotion at all and just write all of the things that trigger that emotion you know like everything in your experience that has made you feel that way not just external things but your own thoughts your own actions everything it's really really powerful and I always always talk about like you need to feel your emotions it's okay to feel your emotions and now that I'm in it I'm realizing how the emotions literally come up and just kind of take over your whole body and some people don't allow that they will like you know when you go to cry or something and some people will just kind of stop themselves and won't let it out so I, I realize now that it's about actually just letting that out when you feel it coming up you just let it out and it not just sadness and tears but like you might feel you might feel anger coming up you might feel shame coming up you might feel like complete despair coming up and I feel like now it's just a case of literally letting that emotion come up and letting it out of you kind of thing so whether that means you like need to scream you need to punch a pillow you need to just cry like you need to curl in a ball and just cry you need to go and hug your family member or like whatever that emotion says to you of what you need in that moment you should just go and do it not messaging the ex though <laughs> that's not it but for yourself and in yourself, what you need in order to allow that emotions, emotions actually come up is something that I'm learning how to do and how, how um, healing it is. Because if you don't feel it and you just stop yourself from crying and you keep doing that where you stop yourself eventually you're gonna lash out at somebody that doesn't deserve it or you're gonna fuck up in your job or like you're not gonna be able to focus on things because you've been pushing those emotions away for as long as you can but there's only so long that they can stay stuck because they'll just build up and build up and build up so I definitely feel like self-care is the key but it's in the sense of being present with yourself in each moment and seeing what you need in each moment because every moment is different 
and I've literally found myself one day I'll be crying or not one day but like one hour I'll be crying and then the next hour I'll be like no I'm better than this like I'm good he doesn't deserve me blah 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 like I'm just getting back into my power and then the next minute I'm crying again you know so it's like you fluctuate constantly and that is the healing process that is exactly what the healing process is because you're coming to terms with things you're letting those emotions out as they come up and then you're giving yourself the pep talk that you need in those moments as the emotion comes up that literally is what healing is you know and then on top of that if you're doing your shadow work which i think like you absolutely need to be doing if you're then analyzing where you went wrong and what this relationship taught you about yourself and about your needs and what you want in a connection because for this to happen this one clearly isn't meeting your needs or being what you want in a relationship because nobody wants this type of thing to happen so if it has then now you can look at what happened and look at the dynamic and see what you would do differently like would you choose somebody differently or something better or would you wait for specific qualities and traits to be there before committing to someone you know like it shows you what you want and what you don't want in a connection fuck i just realized i never put my lights up oh, no i think i'm gonna stop and just put my lights up so then actually <laughs> It's lit up properly, otherwise how are you supposed to see this makeup look? Like, that was really dumb. That's better. Now you can actually see the makeup look a bit more clearly, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. Although I feel like the light's reflecting on me, or is that my oil? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. Hopefully. It looks okay, but yeah. So I think once you get through the initial shock or initial sadness, depending on what's happened for you, but like once you get through the first day or so where it, like your whole world kind of crumbles then you can kind of start working through the emotions working through understanding what happened and why maybe you want to speak to them and hear what they have to say kind of thing and all of that and then it becomes a full process of loving yourself to be honest which sounds really cringe and like cliche and everything but it actually does because it becomes a process of accepting the fact that there's nothing you could have done to change it that it wasn't your fault you didn't do it that it doesn't matter why they did it or what happened or any of those things but that you just deserve better you know like you deserve someone that wouldn't treat you in any kind of negative or disrespectful way so it just becomes like a process of why is my light flickering <gasps> for god's sake man it literally becomes like a process of accepting accepting everything and also um finding the lesson in it because every experience that we ever go through is teaching us something about ourselves even when somebody else fucks up and does something to hurt us it's still always teaching us about ourselves and our needs our wants our values what we want in a connection all of those things like it's literally teaching you about what you will and won't accept and how to assert those boundaries so for some people they'll stay with the person even after they've cheated or disrespected them or something and I've done that in the past and then other times you kind of what one do I want on my weird other times you kind of step up into your power and realize how much you deserve more than that and not even just more than that, but you deserve basic fucking respect, you know? Like, when someone crosses that line, they're literally just crossing basic human respect. And I'm not just talking about, like, cheating once and then they tell you and you break up or something. I'm talking about, like, doing it behind your back, you know? Like, they keep doing it behind your back and don't ever tell you. So, I think that's just gross. <laughs> So along with feeling all of the emotions, I feel 
for me and what I've been doing is just kind of coming to terms with um, accepting what's happened and then starting to focus on what I do want. And when I first, it's kind of weird, but when I first had the thought of imagine having somebody that does, oh, why is my life doing that? Imagine having somebody that does these things and I thought about um, like studying the universe and the occult and all of those kind of things that are things that I do on a daily basis that I'm really into and it's like a part of my life kind of thing and I thought to myself like oh my god imagine meeting somebody that does the same. This light is getting on my nerves and when I thought of that possibility I instantly felt like a wave of relief because sometimes when we're in things we forget the possibility of having somebody that actually meets your needs, that actually respects you, that is actually on your wave and your level of thinking and the way you value things and all of the things that you want and value and expect and appreciate, you know, like imagine having somebody that's fully in alignment with you. Literally just for a second, imagine that, like go into your mind and picture all of your needs being met everything that you want in a relationship, everything that you value and everything that you love, like you're able to communicate with them because they're a good communicator and they want that, you know, like you're able to express your emotions and your needs and they also do the same. Just imagine having the type of connection where that exists. <laughs> and when that thought came in my head, I was like, holy shit, holy shit, why do we settle for things when that's not even there, even before you know all of the bad things that they've been up to, you know that those things are not even met anyway. And so many of us do that, like we meet someone and we may instantly get that feeling of, mm, there's something there, but there's also something there that I'm not really that keen on. But let me give it a try because maybe things will unravel in an even better way. Like maybe things will turn out to be incredible and I'll actually be really glad that I pursued it even though there's that little thing that isn't really exactly what I like but you know it could be incredible <laughs> and we like convince ourselves that that thing's not that bad and that there may be other things they do that kind of surpass that and now I'm realizing like no no, if there's even one thing that makes you feel unsure, that makes you feel doubt, that makes you feel unsafe or a lack of trust or just that feeling of uncertainty, if there's even the slightest bit, it should be a no. It should be a no. Like, that's it. <laughs> and I don't even do that for myself and I'm starting to realise that that's what we should be doing. Because even the tiniest bit of doubt always unravels into something, you know? And why do we want to even be with somebody when there's that doubt? Why do we want to put them through that eva of having somebody doubt the connection with them, you know? Like, it doesn't benefit anybody, but yet we all kind of do it. I'm just blending everything because it needs to be blended well. <laughs> So I know without a doubt that every experience that we go through, every situation that we go through, like every relationship that we have, literally everything, especially because I always say the world is your mirror. So I know that everything we experience is bringing you closer to yourself, closer to your truth, closer to who you are, closer to your soul mission and your purpose and just your path. Like all of it is bringing us into ourselves into what we want what we don't want like literally our truth of existence kind of thing so every connection that we have we can take that kind of lesson from and see where our truth lies so when you look back on this connection of this person that you're trying to heal from look back at it and be like who was i in that relationship like what did my actions show as to what my beliefs are? Did I, did I put up with a lot of disrespect, you know? Did I settle on certain things? Did I speak up and express my needs? Did I communicate? Did I share my emotions and explain how I'm feeling? Like, looking at the relationship and 
your role like how you behaved and the things that you allowed in your relationship like the way that the other person treated you and then how you handled that you know did they treat you well or did they disrespect you and how did you handle that how did you behave in response to that and I think that when we actually look back and we analyze those things we will really come to understand ourselves and exactly what the universe or your higher self is trying to get you to do because sometimes when we need to learn how to assert boundaries we're going to experience connections where people push our boundaries because it's teaching us to actually step up into ourselves and assert them and sometimes when those people come in and they keep pushing our boundaries we crumble and we don't do it so then we'll meet another person that will do the same thing and we might crumble again but then we'll meet another person and we'll be like you know what I've had enough of these people pushing my fucking boundaries so I'm going to assert it now like I'm going to tell this person that's in my life right now that they cannot treat me that way and I'm going to assert exactly what where the boundary lies of what I will and won't tolerate and then you finally step up but it's taken you those three relationships to get there if that makes sense so I feel like that's just what happens with life in every situation including family including friends including work and money it's all just pushing you into yourself so if you don't assert boundaries and you need to because you're being walked all over you're going to keep getting experiences in your life where you're being tested to see if you will assert them and you can watch my um seven a scene mirrors the whole playlist of all seven where i break down all of the ways that our relationships and experiences reflect us and what we need <laughs> so you can watch that full series if you want i'll have that link down below but it's only when you go through your life and you experience things that you realize the mirror and that you actually see how real the mirror is time for lashes so i'm not trying to rush this process of all of the gunk and emotion shit coming out and i don't think you should either you should really just let yourself go through the process and the, the motion of it all where it's going to fluctuate you're gonna feel up and down and that's okay and it doesn't even matter how long it takes for it to get better you just have to flow with it you know ride in the wave as I always say ride in the wave of emotion because you're forever gonna feel different emotions anyway no matter what goes on in your life so just ride in that wave and allowing yourself to surrender to that wave of whatever needs to come up just let it honestly it's a game changer and now I'm actually experiencing everything that I've been preaching for so long I actually have to go through that whole process myself and just let myself surrender to the sadness and then to the anger when it comes up and then to the regret when it comes up to the shame and humiliation when it comes up you just surrender to it let yourself feel it even though it's so fucking uncomfortable and horrible to feel like it's not nice to feel humiliated but you just let the emotion come up because it is what it is it happens Happened and I can't change the fact that it happened so I'm gonna just let myself feel it even though I don't like it you know and also even though you don't deserve it because no one deserve, deserves to be treated like shit and even if you ended on mutual terms nobody wants to feel separation because it's a form of grief nobody wants to feel that no matter whether you are ended on good terms or not it's not a fun thing to go through so I don't know if I can do this sitting here <laughs> have to move my mirror so now I'm gonna do foundation and because it's like winter sort of time or autumn or whatever you want to call it here in um, the UK the weather gets extremely cold so my tan starts to fade and I have to mix my foundations together and I always struggle to get the perfect match to my neck because my neck tans a lot lot darker than my face does like my face seems to tan the least and my hands for some reason so I'm gonna just try and get it to match but I can't really guarantee that it will and I'm not going out anywhere so it doesn't even matter <laughs> I'm just gonna film videos here so I'm just putting a bit of green to tone down some of the redness because my face is breaking out a little bit because of the stress 
or like when you find out someone cheated on you, you're obviously going to be a bit stressed. So my face started breaking out, which is why I wasn't going to film this today. But then I thought, you know what? We're not going to let this ruin our plans to film. I'm just going to like, I'm not going to have it throw me off of my life and my goals. So I decided to film anyway, even with horrific breakouts. But what can you do? We all get them. So I take the darker shade first, although this one's practically empty. Where's my other one? <laughs> my skin gets quite oily. So I like this one because it's mattifying and it's not extortionate prices. I do wear quite a bit of foundation just because if I'm gonna wear it, I might as well wear it for the gods. <laughs> it might as well look good. <laughs> And then, oh, I didn't show you the shade, but then I put the lighter one on over the top of this one, all on the sponge. And I don't know how much of a match that will be, so then I'll just put it on my face. Then I'll go back over with lighter or darker, depending on what I need. I haven't worn nails in so long, it's really weird. I also find that it always seems really dark and then once you put all of your like bronzer and concealer on it's not actually that dark. Mm, I feel like that's not a bad match. I'm going to put a little bit more light on the sponge. So for me I feel like once you, it, not comfortable but once you kind of settle into this weird uncomfortable space and you accept the fact move the light you accept the fact that um this is where you're at and that the broke up the breakup has happened and you're going through this then eventually you'll reach a point where you start to look at all of the things that you do want and you start to look at the ways that you settled the ways that you um tolerated certain things that you didn't like and what you actually want in the future like you just start to kind of realize that actually you're going to be okay you know even though um it's painful and the pain may still come back up and even though you're kind of riding the wave of all of the emotions that are going to come up you do kind of reach a point where you just have to accept everything for what it is and the lesson that it is and the gift that it is because you still got memories you still got to experience this person you still got to learn and grow and evolve through that time within yourself regardless of what they were doing so there's nothing to regret you know like I think you just start to accept it and come to terms with the fact that this is where you're at now and the fact that you can create anything that you want in the future anything that you want you can have so once you kind of get used to feeling these emotions and allowing them to come up you'll then get to a point where you can look to the future and look to what you want and start to shift your focus to those things more often even though you'll still get upset some days and you'll still have like ups and downs but it's like a perspective that you feel then open to looking at so that's something that I've been doing is like, I literally wrote down all of the qualities that I want in a relationship and the type of dynamic I want it to be and all of those kind of things. And it just makes you open your mind and keep your heart open, you know, rather than just shutting down and falling into depression. And to be honest, but of course this is a process and it's not something that's going to happen straight away. So it's just whenever you feel open to the possibilities, then it's good to go to that perspective. It's all just a natural part of riding the wave, to be honest. Like, riding the emotional wave and the healing wave, really. But also, I think one of the important things for me personally is to remember that I deserve better. Like, none of us have to put up with that type of behaviour and I'm kind of over this whole concept of if you love the person you'll forgive them and you'll stick by them like no if you love somebody you wouldn't even do those things to them in the first place to need forgiveness you know so let's stop with this narcissistic ego shit 
and realise that we actually treat people with respect from the beginning, you know, and women do not need to tolerate bullshit in order to prove that they're loyal and wife material. Like, no, I was wife material before you even fucked me over. <laughs> So, now I would rather find somebody that won't fuck me over, you know, and that will realise that the wife material is there already. Just chasing my little... I think this is a foundation stick, is it? I don't actually know. I'm not sure. I like my contour quite dark. Oh, I'm using Rimmel. But literally all of my stuff is drugstore, I think. <laughs> Most of it. My face is oily, so I have to bake the powder everywhere. And I love this powder. <laughs> I literally put it everywhere. So yeah, to answer the question from one of you that asked me to film this video, I would say how to get over your ex is to fill all the fills fully and completely and daily for however long it takes it could take you months it could take you years it could take you i was going to say weeks but i feel like it's going to take at least a month so fill all those bills for however long it takes and during that process you can do your own shadow work to understand exactly what it is about yourself that it's showing you so that you can elevate that part and not have to go through this kind of experience again and then also during that um you can when you're ready start to shift your focus back to yourself and to all of the incredible things that you have in your life and all the incredible things that you want and you can bring your focus back to that and obviously that's not an easy thing like there's going to be times when your mind wanders like mine's been doing it especially lately it keeps wandering to the like what was he doing when I was doing this and like trying to figure out the time and I just realized like how crazy I look with my face like this we're having such a serious conversation and I literally look insane but anyway um it's been like um what was happening while I was here and where was he when I was doing this and like <laughs> what's funny is I realized when I was filming my heartbreak video the one that I've linked up here somewhere that I've already filmed before that was one of the days when it was happening and I'm literally sitting there filming heartbreak and had no idea because I wasn't going through heartbreak right then because I didn't know what was happening. So it's funny how the universe kind of <laughs> almost plays a game on you. Like it literally lines things up to where I'm already talking about um, having someone cheat and lie and do all of these things. And I had no idea that it was literally happening while I was filming. So. I don't know I feel like it's kind of a sign and now when I look back on it it's like oh oh shit <laughs> but obviously you're gonna ride the wave of so many emotions when you face certain truths of things that happened because it's not fun and it's not easy even if they didn't do anything wrong you can look back at memories and things and feel all types of emotions like you could look back at memories and feel sad as well so you just have to let yourself ride the wave and then Try and get your focus onto all of the things that you want in your life because you can have anything that you want. We are the creators of our reality. We literally birth children, like men and women together, literally create life, you know? Like it's not just a woman that creates life. The man does it too. We come together and create life. So if we can do that and we can be a portal for souls to incarnate here, then we can absolutely create anything that we want like anything and I think sometimes we forget that superpower how powerful we actually are where the fuck is my brush ah! where is my eyebrow brush <laughs> oh it's on the floor so when you just focus on all of the things that you want in your life oh my god it pulls you out of the sadness to be honest but that doesn't mean that you won't fall back down there and that's okay. But I just think when you can and when you feel ready and able to, you should write down all of the things that you want so that you have that reminder to refer back to whenever you find yourself 
doubting your worth or doubting your capability of meeting the right person. Life is not easy, man. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. It's what we're here for. We're here for this fun little game called life. So forgive yourself and forgive the other person. That's something I will say and it's something that I'm working on. Nobody wants to carry pain and hate in their heart forever. You have to forgive. I don't really feel like there's a one answer for everybody to be honest. I feel like it's an individual process because there's some people that will split up and then they'll end up getting back together, you know, even though they've disrespected them or whatever. So I think it's just a case for everyone to do what's best for them. And the reason why we even go back is because we have to learn more lessons, which I've also experienced myself. So I feel like you just have to follow your heart and tap into it and what you need for yourself and for your self-esteem, for everything that you want in life, you have to just listen to yourself, to be honest, and trust yourself. And that is a part of the lessons that we learn through relationships, is how to trust ourselves. So you'll get there, I'll get there, we'll all get there when it's time. It's probably weird for me to do this while I have powder all over my face, but I always do it this way around. I'm using a random eyeshadow as well because it's not bright enough. So if there's one thing I want you to take from this video, is that you will be okay. No matter who comes and goes from your life, you will be okay. I mean, we're all divinely connected regardless of whether they're in your life or not. So people never really leave, you know, because we're all a part of source, we're all a part of the all. But sometimes, just because you love somebody or care about somebody, it doesn't mean that they deserve a place in your life. So sometimes we just have to kind of accept that fact and let people leave. Let them leave. Okay. All that's left to do is lips and then we're done. I just realised I'm going to go eat a roast dinner after this and I will have put on but we're doing it for the video so it's fine <laughs> does anyone else find putting lipstick on so what's that word where it's like AM ASMR where it's like something not a fetish but just something you find really soothing <laughs> it's like so calming and we are done with the makeup so that is the final look for this tutorial get ready with me kind of video and I hope that this um, answered your question as well of how to get over an ex. I know like it's just such a painful up and down roller coaster process and literally my best advice would just be to ride that wave and roll with it you know and also make sure that you understand in yourself what you need because we all need different things so make sure that you spend time with yourself now and get to know all of those things that you want and that you need because you can have it and you deserve the world and you don't have to settle so I really really appreciate you watching thank you so so much for all of your support honestly it just means the world and we are so so close to 1000 subscribers which is just crazy to me and I'm really really excited for all of these vlogs that are coming as well and just everything that's going on so thank you thank you thank you and thank you for all of your purchases and orders from Elemental Mirror as well my crystal brand it means the world so I hope this was I was gonna say I hope this was helpful I guess I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed the makeup video I'm also gonna do a bright colored makeup look as well as that was requested so stay tuned for that one and if you have any video suggestions that you want me to film definitely leave a comment down below or you can text or whatsapp me or you can dm me on instagram everything about me will be in the description box below don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week now four that's just crazy <laughs> but yeah I will see you in the next episode bye you could say I love you I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself